They say they spent years, even decades, in jail for crimes they did not commit. And a group of convicted murders says it all comes back to one rogue official, and they want their names cleared. CBS 2's Catherine Brown reports. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. Passionate pleas from men, women, and their families who say they were wrongfully convicted for murder. I did 21 years in prison for a crime I did not commit. The murder case against Derek Hamilton was pieced together by NYPD detective Louis Scarcella. But while in jail, Hamilton unearthed a disturbing trend, a string of convictions, all tied to Detective Scarcella. Because I was from the neighborhood where these crimes was committed. I knew who the true killers were. So it was impossible for this guy to have committed the murder. I know who did it. So that bothered me. Hamilton made parole, but wants his name cleared. <laughs> Last year, a judge overturned the 1990 murder conviction of David Ranta, and the Brooklyn District Attorney ordered more than 50 of Scarcella's cases to be reopened. The once decorated detective now stands accused of coaching witnesses, coercing confessions, and trading drugs for testimony. Last year, he defended himself to CBS2. I stand by the, the confession. I stand by the case. Did you coach witnesses? No, sir. Those who say they were wrongfully convicted with the help of Detective Scarcella are demanding the creation of a new conviction integrity unit here in New York City, similar to one that's already in place in Dallas. And they're calling on Brooklyn District Attorney Kenneth Thompson to fast track the Scarcella cases. In a statement, he says, while we understand the need to work quickly, we are not willing to sacrifice speed for thoroughness. We've been asked to be patient, though. But I say we've been patient for decades. Now they're saying they won't be anymore. In Lower Manhattan, Catherine Brown, CBS 2 News. And defendants also want the NYPD to implement double-blind lineups and video record all interrogations.